Welcome to another episode of the van project. In this episode I'll continue working on the rust that was found in the back of the van. If you've got limited storage space, you will quickly learn to hate the first thing you have to do every time you open the van up, and that's unpacking it. We're doing all your work, and then when you're finished, repacking it, just to reverse it the next day when you're working on the van again. It becomes a chore, which is a pain in the backside. Let's see what I got. Got some knee pads, because I knew I was gonna need it sooner or later. And if you're gonna be on your hands and knees, Anything, this is a pain in the backside to get on. What we've received is a paint kit. Right. What we received off eBay is a custom paint which is the Reynolds KNG, which is the color of the body. We have a primer, which will give us a rustoline, which will give us the barrier between the, the body and future potential rust. That will protect it. Methylated spirits, clean up all this i'll show you in a second all these marks on the body silica flex that'll be to fix the section amorite so the idea is i will be painting this on each hole to protect the hole from future rust then i'm going to spray it and paint it so the floor gets back to the color especially this area here get back to the color it should be after i've worked on getting this all flat again then i've got pop ribbits i bought six millimeter long by 3.2 millimeter for these holes these holes that is i've measured it those holes are three millimeter for the screws so we're going to be dipping the pop robot into this into the hole close the hole to stop messing about and protect myself i bought these gloves a long time ago when i ride motorbike in the rain to seal my hands away from the rain so I think it's a good idea to take my hands I'm not too sure what I don't know how much of those chemicals are still well they're still still wet so I'm gonna have to wash this off now now the big part of the job for today was to remove the residue left over from the anti-rust paint. I had to remove the residue in case it uh, burns my skin while working on a van. All the dark patches on the van floor is this paint residue that's left behind after it's finished doing its job. After I finished cleaning up all the residue I got the steel brush and the drill back out to grind all the bits and bobs off that was left behind after the residue was removed. I have to say I'm quite impressed with this anti-rust or rust removal paint. It did a good job. It made me feel a bit better about uh, cleaning up all the rust and treating it before I fill all those holes in and then respray all this bare metal before I seal the floor. Hopefully it will last long term because I won't be able to get underneath this floor quite easily again. After finishing with the steel brushes, it was a quick clean of the cab. I taped down some newspaper to protect uh, the paint and the bumpers from the new paint. 
just in case I overspray. I'm not uh, the best spray painter, so I thought it's probably the best idea. Using an aerosol tin of uh, spray paint, I put down uh, the base coat, taking my time to try and do it correctly. Once I've done the the back end of the van, I moved into the interior before doing the step as well. Between layers of paint, I decided to get the heat gun out and run the heat gun across the, the new spray painted um, areas. Give it a quicker time to dry so that a second coat could go, a second coat could go on quicker. A second coat could go on. A second coat could go, could. A second coat could go on earlier. It didn't take too long to do all the painting, and then I left it overnight to dry. So, yes, the, the before and after. Well, I think it was a pretty successful day. It's not every day that you can actually ha have quite a, a big visual difference in your work when you're working on a van. Normally it's small little steps you don't see. You know, everything gets covered in the end anyway. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching it. Could you please hit that like and subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next one.